Stay upstairs while we're open for business. Yes? Hey, lay off the customers. Sorry if he was rude, Doctor. I don't mind. Come on, you're getting in the way. Go on upstairs. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? Is that right? And I bet you think you should have a year-long supply of them, too. You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? Who's to say? But as a result, all I get are patients with ulterior motives now. I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays, too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest, and you don't look like you'll be any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So, if that's okay with you, stop by any time. Great. It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. Okay, which one? Want that one? Thanks. Take care.
Good evening. Do you remember anything from the moment you took the medicine until now? Hmm. By the look in your eyes, I'd say you don't. You briefly woke from your coma, but you were completely dazed during the entire examination. You eventually lost consciousness and fell back asleep. Are you out of your mind? Only an idiot would have drank that. Fine. By the way, the reason you lost consciousness was because of the taste. It produces a foul smell when it mixes with gastric juices, similar to Sir Stroming. Oh well. All that matters is that thanks to you, I was able to get some good data. Okay, it's my turn to make good on my part of the deal. That's why I waited until you woke up. I don't want the general public to know about my original medicines. So, you're strictly prohibited from disclosing what happens here to anyone. Then it's a deal. As long as you come here for it, I'll give you the medicine at a good price whenever you want. I may even add additional selections in time. I look forward to your continued patronage. Considering all the actions you've taken, you must have had someone with medical expertise. Who? And how did you treat your wounds? It'll be easy to find out who if we look into this, you know. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that break it by chains of captivity. With the birth of the death persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. So, when can you come back for the next clinical trial? Oh, you don't remember that part either? Well, I was saying that teenage test subjects are quite valuable in the medical research industry. So I'll provide you the medicine for your entrance exams, and in exchange, you'll be my guinea pig. I have to perfect this medicine. If you're able to move now, you can go home. All right, take care. Please head to the exam room. Hmm.
what? Wow. By the way, Take care. Hello? Huh? Take 
Take care. Allergies are so annoying. Well then... Oh. And? Hello? <laughs> By the way,
please head to the exam room. I guess.
Oh. What? I suppose. mean <laughs> Sorry. to say. out, okay? Please head to the exam room. Hey.
same here. What are you trying to do? Take care. it. What's the meaning of this? Sorry. care.
Don't pass out, okay? All right. Anyway. Hey. Really? Fine. See you later. I'm a chef 
That was absolutely delicious. I've been here a time or two, but I don't remember the coffee being so good. Which reminds me, the new medicine will be completed soon. Your data has been extremely helpful, due to your generic body type and bland health history. You've been a splendid guinea pig. I mean, participant. So, thanks again. By the way, how have I been doing? Have I been helpful? For your escapades with the phantom thieves, I mean. Come on, you and I both know that you were lying about needing to prepare for the entrance exams. I visited Oyamata in jail. A swing of fortunes like that could have only come at the hands of the phantom thieves. And to have it happen when it did, isn't the only logical conclusion to think that it's you? <laughs> well, I don't care. The point is that without you, I wouldn't have been able to complete my mission. I would have never finished the new medicine while I was being deceived by Oyamata. And I would have never met any of the townspeople. I bet the phantom thieves save people in need, just like doctors do, huh? So, I'll go out on a limb for you. I'll have even more powerful medicine ready for you. You are my boyfriend, after all. You'll use the medicine correctly, won't you? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of death, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Hey, this is where you live, right? Where's your room? Upstairs? Is your guardian home? Then, it's just the two of us. Really? Then, would you like a thorough examination? I guess I'll start off by examining your eyes. I'll just have to take my time examining you. Hmm? Wasn't there a rumor going around that the Phantom Thieves were murdering people? I knew they were no good the moment that stuff came up. I bet they're just a bunch of scumbags. Oh, I see. That's scary. Hmm? What's going on here? I'm not letting you lose after getting this far. You better finish what you've started! What a crowd. Anyway, thanks for coming. Were you hoping to see me today? Aren't you straightforward? Well then, I can be honest too. I'm glad to hear it. So, what happens after this? If you don't have anything in mind, we can go out to eat. Don't worry, no experiments today. Cool, let's go. Oh, uh, but first, this usually isn't my style, but it's Christmas, so... Would you like to hold hands? Jeez, Christmas Eve really clogs this place up. Didn't think all the restaurants would be totally booked.
Where do you learn these lines? Cake first, though, right? Once we've got that, you can feed me all the cheesy schlock you want. Let's go look for one. I wouldn't get your hopes up. You wouldn't happen to have any Christmas cakes left, would you? Actually, we do! What? One of our orders was cancelled last minute. This is the only cake we have. Well, in that case... We'd like to buy it. Of course! Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. Can you believe that? Slow down. We'll get to enjoy it soon. Just the two of us. Mm, that's good. Maybe we should do this more often. How about you? Having fun? <laughs> wow, I didn't know you were so worked up about it. Well, maybe I can make this a little more exciting. Here's your present. Not handmade or anything, okay? Just so you know this wasn't some huge labor of love. You can be pretty sweet sometimes. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Got a chill down your spine? You had cream on your nose. No idea how it got there, but... Hey. As far as your other identity goes, I figure it's not my business. But as long as we're making this work somehow, I might as well say this. I can at least tell how much you and the other phantom thieves go through to save people. I am your girlfriend, after all. I just wanted to acknowledge that it's thanks to those efforts that I found my own calling. I really am glad I've got you. Take a compliment for once. Still, I gotta say, you've got some weird taste. People talk. But what it comes down to is that the Phantom Thieves are these big modern heroes, right? Never really thought of myself as girlfriend material, let alone for a hero. All right already. Bring it down a notch, smooth talker. Who are you trying to impress? Oh, look. It's really coming down out there. I never fell for this stuff. All oh, the snowfall, the romance. I'm not exactly the swooning type. Didn't think I was, anyway. Jeez, I'm supposed to be the adult here, but you're the one who keeps supporting me. I've never been happier. How about you? It's good, right? I feel like I'm gonna wake up any second now and all this will be gone. You're right. Maybe everything can just be nice for once. Hey, I don't know if I should be going home in all that snow. You get what I'm saying, right? I'll announce his name as the key figure in the completion of the medicine at the next conference. I've heard that Miwa-chan's progress is going well. Indeed, that's true, but... I'm certain that this will help prove his good character in the trials. Please. I want to increase his chances of being found innocent as much as possible. I see. So that's why. You'll cooperate too, right? Stupid question. I'm at work, but I can take off early. I'll see you there.
You know, some studies suggested aquariums are good for relieving anxiety. Now that I'm actually in one, I think I get what they're saying. You know what I mean. I'm having a nice time. And having my little guinea pig here definitely doesn't hurt. Never would have guessed I'd be going on aquarium dates at my age. Kind of nice, though. I get that feeling a lot with you. Pretty hard to get used to. So, how long are we gonna dance around this? Is this meant to be an apology? Well, since my guinea pig's being sincere for once, I accept. I think I've seen enough fish for one day. So, what now? Oh, really? Then let's see this place. This is a little more than I expected. Yeah, in a way. It's my first time coming here with someone I'm actually into, so... Just when I think he can't surprise me anymore, my guinea pig somehow keeps outdoing himself. A guy like you is wasted on me, you know. It's a real tragedy. <laughs> I didn't mean to go fishing for that, but thanks. Sorry, one second. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening with one last finishing touch from us. Hmm? What's going on? Wow. What? <laughs> Thank you. A starry cityscape and roses, huh? Don't you think that's a little much? <laughs> Maybe. Still, caught me off guard, so I guess it must have worked. That's something I've always liked about you. It's never just about you. You always go to these crazy lengths to make other people happy. I really admire that, and I guess I've been trying to learn from it. Makes me think I gotta work on myself a little before I deserve you. Sweet thing to say. Well, after all this effort, I should at least return the favor somehow. Maybe my guinea pig has a suggestion? to update you on Miwa-chan. Her symptoms subsided thanks to the new medicine. She still has some way to go, but it won't be too long until I get to see her smile. Yeah, I'm relieved too. I wouldn't have been able to finish the new medicine without your help. Thank you so much, my little guinea pig. Oh, I guess I can't call you that now that you've helped me so much. Same goes for the situation with Oyamata. You did everything you could to help me with it. I don't know where all that devotion comes from. Maybe I should take a cue from you. Here, I want you to have this. So, here today, gone tomorrow, huh? Now, I'm just a neighborhood doctor. No more assistant. Wonder if it's gonna be rough without you. Well, the thought crossed my mind, but somehow I think we'll be fine. And hey, if I feel like it, I can always surprise you with a house call. Look after yourself out there, all right? Not just for your own sake. <laughs> <laughs>